Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another tutorial on Unity. Today we are going to see how to animate a 2D character using Unity's inbuilt sprite editor. So I have downloaded a sprite from Open Game Art. I'm going to import that. So let's right click, import new asset, and this is my character. And once my character is inside Unity, I'm going to set the texture type to 2D and UI, text sprite mode to be single. And let me drag the character inside my hierarchy to see if the size is okay. It's a little bigger for me, so I'm going to set the pixel per unit to 200. And click on apply. Okay, now that my sprite is ready, let's go ahead and add bones to that. So sprite editor. Uh, one thing you notice is all the limbs of the sprite are separate from the body. The reason is if you want to animate a 2D sprite and if the limbs are already connected to the body, the, when you move the hand, the body also gets skewed. So to avoid that, it's better to have the limbs separate. So that way the animation will look more natural. If the sprite editor doesn't open for you, it might be because you're missing a package. So just go to package manager and install the 2D sprite package and open up the sprite editor. And in the drop down, select skinning editor. And you should see your sprite here. Double click on your sprite to select it. Now make sure your sprite is selected because if, without selecting the sprite, you won't be able to add a bone to that. So let's click on create bone. Now, to create a new bone, you have to click inside the sprite. So you can see a bone emerging. Now, the place where you want the bone to end and the other bone to start, just left click again. So a new bone starts. So the place where I want to end this bone is here. So I'm going to left click again. So there's one more bone, but I don't want to create a bone since my neck is a little far away from here. So just right click. So to create the neck bone, we can left click here, but the ne neck bone should basically be connected to my upper body bone. So first click on the upper body bone, left click on the upper body bone. Then you should see a link like this. Now click on your neck and let's create a bone. So this will be my head bone, right click. Let's select the upper body again. Then this will be my right hand. Make sure there are at least three bones in your limb because we'll be using an IK manager to control the limbs. The IK manager basically affects three bones. So you need a limb to have three bones for it to move properly. So that's it for my right hand. Let me select this bone and here goes. the left hand. Now for the legs, it should be connected to the lower body bone. So let me select the lower body bone. Uh, okay. Then again. Okay, no problem. Be fine. Okay, right click. Oh, looks like I deleted the bone here. So let me do that again. Okay. So now I've added all the bones. Once you assign the bones, the next step is to create geometry and weights. So select auto geometry and make sure weights are checked and click on generate for selected. If you see generate for visible, that means your sprite is not selected. So double click the sprite to select it and click on generate for selected. So that will generate the weights and geometry. The geometry is the outside line here. And the weights is the color. As you can see, for every bone, a color is assigned, and the same color is assigned to the sprite. 
So if for some reason the weights are not generated, just click on auto weights and click generate. So you'll be able to see the color of the sprites has been assigned based on the color of the bone. So now if you move the body bone, the whole upper body moves. And if you move the lower body bone, the whole sprite moves. And similarly, you can test with your hand. Move this, move your head. So once everything is fine, just click on restore pose. Now let's name the bones. So this will be my lower body. This will be my upper body. And this is going to be the neck. And then this is going to be my right hand. This is going to be the left hand. And this is my left leg. And this is going to be the right leg. Once you have named everything, the left hand should basically go behind the body when the character walks. So to do that, you have to adjust the depths here. Let's set the lower body and the upper body at depth of 5. Then the right hand will be something greater. So when you basically adjust the right hand, uh, I mean the bones attached to the right hand also. So all this will be 7. So the left hand has to go behind the body so it can remain 0. Now let's click on close. So it will ask you to save. So let's click on save. So now we're back to Unity Editor. Here if you select the 2D character, you should note that you're not able to see the bones. So to see the bones, you have to add something called a sprite skin. So click on add component and click on sprite skin. Now click on create bones. So this will add all the bones to your scene. So as of now, I'm going to make this invisible so that I'm able to align my character. Now inside the character, Let's move the body parts together. So first is going to be the neck. Uh, let's move the neck here. Okay. Now the right hand will be here. Okay. And the left hand will go here. Okay, now the left leg goes here and the right leg goes here. So let's go to the game view to see if the character looks. I think the legs are too wide apart. So let's bring them closer like this. Yep. Same height. Okay. So now the character looks okay. I guess the neck has to come down a little bit. So let's go ahead. The neck has to come here. Okay. The neck should be actually on top of the body. So we have to go back to the sprite editor and change the depth of the neck. So let's select the character, click on Click on Sprite Editor, go back to our Skinning Editor, now the Neck Bone. So Neck Bone is going to be 6. Okay, now let's close, it will ask you to save. So now it looks good, the neck is on the front. Okay.
so now we have our character ready now to control the limbs we are going to add something called as the ik manager so with the ik manager you are, you will be able to move the hand as a whole so let's see how to add that so just go and click on add component and search for ik manage duty now we are going to add four limbs two hands and two legs so let's create the first one click on the plus sign and click limb so this is going to be my left and limb solver so inside the limb solver you will have a limb solver 2d script attached and you will have an effector and a target which you need to assign so for the effector you have to assign the lowest bone for example we are going to assign it to the left hand so go to the left hand find the lowest bone which is bone number 10 so drag and drop that to the effector and then click on create target and once you click on create target a new transform is added to it and as you can see it's exactly on the left limb so just move it little bit away from the limb somewhere here now let's do the same thing for the right hand select the character and inside your ik manager 2d click on the plus sign and select limb and this is going to be my right hand limb solver and in the effector i'm going to find number seven and assign it to the effector and let's click on create transform sorry create target so that would have added a target here and let's move the target little bit away from the hand yeah that should be good now let's do the same thing for the left leg and the right leg So plus sign limb and let's call it left leg and left leg is going to be here the lowest bone is my effector then I'm going to click on create target and that basically adds a small this one so let me have it here okay now for the right leg plus sign limb right leg limb solver now find the right leg lowest bone create target and then this transform I'm going to move it a little bit here okay now if you go to your scene view and you should see four IK managers when you move this IK manager the limb bends uh, the leg is bending on the wrong direction both the legs so just select the limb solver for the legs and click on flip let's see now the leg is bending properly okay so now we have completed the rigging part and the adding bones the ik manager and the weights so the next step is creating an animation so to create an animation just open the animation window select your character and click on create let's create a idle animation 
I'm not very good at animating things, so I'm just going to create an idle animation so that you get the idea of how it should look like. Now, click on the record button and let's see. Generally, in the idle animation, the hands will move a little like this and like this. And and at the 30th frame, let's move the hand a little bit here. This hand right here. And let's move the head a little bit here. Okay. And at one minute, let's just bend the hand and do this. And do this. Let's see how it looks like. Man. doesn't look good but you get the idea on how to animate the character i'm hoping that you're a better animator than me and your animation will definitely look good so this is how you can add bones to your character and then animate your character in unity if you're having any questions regarding this you can leave them in the comment box below thank you and see you again in the next tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share